In this demonstration, you'll learn how to set up a steady state thermal simulation to study the distribution of temperature in the model when a heat flux, a convection, and a radiation are applied. I'll start by selecting a simulation process template from the study panel on the left here. I'm going to select the thermal template. I need to import a geometry file, so I'll leave this set to the default. This option is enabled by default so that you can modify the imported geometry from the geometry task. I am running a purely thermal simulation, so I won't select another physics type. I can select a steady state simulation or a time dependent one. In this case, I'll select a steady state simulation and accept the default selection for the options list so that contacts in the interface of the bodies are detected automatically. In creating my simulation process, the first thing that I'm asked to do is select a geometry. I'll select the design modeler geometry file for the curved three-part pipe. AIM loads the geometry and sets up a simulation process with typical default settings for geometry, mesh, physics, and results. AIM has automatically created the physics solution process, which involves the geometry import, meshing, physics, and results. Here's a summary of all of the tasks, along with their status. All of these tasks are also available in the workflow window in a data flow diagram format. My physics task, the red exclamation mark here, is telling me that the physics task needs more information to complete the simulation. I'll click on it to go into the physics task. You'll see that a lot of defaults have already been set up for me. Material assignments, physics options, interface conditions, and solver settings. Two contacts were created for this case. The blue button here suggests our next step. I need to add some loads and constraints. First, I'm going to add a heat flux load to the face of this exposed cross section. I'll use the face selection filter to select the face. Then I'll add the heat flux load from the context menu. I enter the magnitude of this load and press enter. The load is now up to date. Note that the heat flux value is also shown here in the heat flux panel. Next, I want to apply convection to the inner curved faces of all three bodies. I'll start by selecting the three outer faces and hiding them. Then I'll select the inner curved faces. I'll right click to add a convection load. I'll enter the values for the heat transfer coefficient and the convection temperature, and then press enter. You can see these values are also reflected here. Before proceeding, I'll want to show all bodies again. I now want to add a radiation load to the outer faces of the three cylinders. I'll select the faces, then I'll right click to add a radiation load. I'll enter values for the emissivity property and the radiation temperature property and press enter. I am now finished specifying my loads and my physics solution task is all set up. Now I'll update the physics solution task by right clicking it in the workflow view and selecting update. I can see the progress on the bottom right hand side here. Everything's updated. So now I can view my results. I'll click on the results task and then evaluate. The template has already inserted one contour result for temperature. This shows the distribution of the temperature throughout the model. This concludes this demonstration of an end-to-end -end basic steady state thermal analysis in AIM.